Welcome back to Erudite Magic. If you are here because you love magic books, you're absolutely in the right place. I am ready to do an unboxing video. This is the first time I've ever done this. We're here in my new space for my magic library. I moved into my new home and I got a lot of books that I want to share with you. So I'm pretty excited to show you the books that I have. And this is going to be a bit different than the other videos that I've done because I feel like it'll be a little bit more informal. And if you see books that you like, certainly feel free to call them out. In fact, I'd like for you to comment down below and let me know about books that I have that you want to see reviewed. Let's get right into it. I don't honestly know how this is going to work. Um, I, you know, I feel like I'm flying a bit by the seat of my pants. These books aren't all going to go here in the right spot, so this is just going to be me unboxing them, putting them on shelves. Let's get started. Some of these books you have to understand I haven't seen for seven months. They've been in storage, so I'm very, very, very excited to see some old friends one more time. Oh yes, The Trap Door by Steve Beam. Interesting story about these books. Um, when I was buying these, Steve was at a lecture in Greenville, South Carolina, and he said he had one set of these with him, and I told him I'd take them if he autographed them to me. And the funny story is he did autograph them to me, and then when he handed them to me, I was flipping through them, and I realized that he gave me two of the number two books. I had one, two, and two, not one, two, and three. So he quipped when I gave it back to him and said, I actually like number three that someone was going to find a very discounted copy of number two dedicated to Jeff. So hopefully someone out there got that copy. If you did, sound off below, that'd be a hoot. So much beauty in those books. Oh man, I have missed these babies. This book actually, you know, didn't do a lot for me. I hate to say that. It's an interesting book and Max Abrams you know, did a good job, but just the layout's different and stuff. It, it was never my favorite especially compared to the new Animan book, which we'll get into. Now these, on the other hand, stay tuned to talk about the Jinx, because these will definitely be, uh, you'll be seeing these again. Long time ago, I bought the Jinx Companion. It's a great little companion book. It wasn't expensive, printed on Amazon. I think everyone here has knows that I have had Stunners Plus and have done a quick re video review. I'll probably do another one. Oh man. Here's the one, Animan's Enigma. This is the one that replaced the Abrams book for me because I, uh, I really like this book and I, I posted some comments on the Magic Cafe about it. I'm gonna do a detailed review of this book because it is great. And especially since Animan is basically my favorite. Last year sometime, Mayor Yedid put out Paul Daniels' How to Make Money by Magic. That's a pretty interesting book and I anticipate that I'll get to reviewing that. I got this for Christmas one year, Jack Parker's 52 Memories by Andy Gladwin. It's a pretty cool book, and I'll be talking some about that, I'm sure, here in the future. Now you see it, now you don't. Lessons in Sleight of Hand by Bill Tarr, a classic. Perhaps the classic of classics. Mark Wilson's Complete Course in Magic. That's a great book, especially for the aspiring beginner. The Art of Astonishment series. I bought these. Man, I wanted these so bad when I was a teenager, and I finally bought them. And they were as wonderful after I bought them as before. A lot of times you buy a book and the anticipation is really, you know, half of it. But in this case, these books were way better than what I anticipated. Just for consistency's sake, I'm gonna put Blumberg Laboratories next to 52 Memories because they're that unusual size. I mean, it's cool, but different. Simon Says and Son of Simon Says. So I bought Son of Simon Says on an l and special and then Simon Says I actually had to get second hand because it's been out of print. And this actually helped me win a book. Totally Out of Control by Chris Kenner, or is it Out of Control by Chris Kenner? One of the neat books put out by Kaufman and Company. You know, I honestly haven't spent as much time with it as I should, so I'm sure I'll dig back into it. Miracle Material, The Close-Up Magic of Michael Kaminskis. Michael is a really great guy. If you don't know him, you should. If you see him at a convention, Go up and say hi, he's, he's fantastic. We're gonna get into some of his books here in a bit too. It's just, you know, you only have so much time in a day, it's ridiculous. Oh man, the classic magic of Larry Jennings. This was a gift to me, can you believe this? Years ago, 
Vlad77 on the Magic Cafe, he advised me on a number of books and he ended up gifting me this book. What a treasure and what a beautiful gesture. Spoiler alert, Ryan Matney. I've, I bought this at Magi Fest. Uh, I didn't get through it right away, but I actually went through it recently and made a note. So there's something coming on this because it's a pretty great book. I don't know Ryan Matney, but I liked what I read so far. Award-winning magic of John Cornelius. Very 70s, if you know what I mean. And along those same lines, The Legacy of Don Allen, which walks through his, I think, Magic Ranch series of videos. Oh man, yes. Yes. The Magic of Matt Shulian in hardback. Yes. You can salivate over this one. Um, I got this in an estate. I, a guy passed away and he'd stored a lot of his books in the barn. Apparently he didn't want his wife to know how much he'd spent. Oh yeah. David Regal, Constant Fooling, number one and number two, and my Stars of Magic. Just picked this up um, right before I moved, Applesauce by Patrick Redford. I'm going to put it over here because I want to put the bigger books over here. Uh, diverse Deceptions, More Diverse Deceptions, Further Diverse Deceptions by Richard Osterlin. These are actually great little pamphlets. People used to publish more pamphlets, and I feel like now they don't. Mentalism Incorporated, Volumes 1 and 2 by Chuck Hickok. These are great for the practicing mentalist and have so much advice if you're wanting to do corporate shows. The classic Scarney on card tricks. I got this for 50 cents at a book sale in uh, Greenville. And then Anthony Owens' Secrets by Vanishing Inc. I've only gotten about halfway through this. I think so far there's good stuff in it, but nothing, nothing that caught my eye that made me say, oh, I really got to dig into this. But it's a good book. That's only one of like a dozen boxes. You guys ready for this? Wow. Parlor Tricks. I already did a review of this. Great book, really enjoyed it by the, the guys at Vanishing Inc. And of course, Morgan and West. Picked up this little booklet by Michael Kaminskis, seemingly impromptu. Gene Anderson, the book. Gene's a great guy. If you have a chance to meet him at Magi Fest, you totally need to do that too. The Magic of Michael Lamar, oh man. One of the first books I ever bought, I coveted this book. It had the crazy man's handcuffs and the bill switch among other things. It's a beautiful book with a lot of really great magic and really great theory in it too. All of the Simon Aronson books, Bound to Please, Aronson Approach, Simply Simon, Try the Impossible, and Art Deco. Some of them are autographed by him and others are not, but they're all beautiful in their own right. Little Egypt Book of Numbers by Steve Bryant. I got this at Magi Fest this past year and I flipped through it, not had an opportunity to actually get into the details I want, but so far, Looks very promising. And then when you're just a book glutton, you've got the Steve Beam semi-automatic card series, all 12 glorious volumes. Somebody needs to give me an over-under spread on whether there's a 13th volume, because personally, I think there will be. Box two is done. Close up and personal, the magic of David Regal. Ah, yes, there it is, OCD in me. I need to be able to put this with the other David Regal books. I won't be happy. Mike Caveney's books, Wonders in the Conference Illusions. I'm most of the way through these wonderful, wonderful books. Ugh. Heavy. Greater Magic. What a wonderful book. And this one's cool because it's from the revised wartime, published in compliance with the regulations of the War Production Board. How cool is that? Darkest Corners. Meh. You saw my review. Wasn't my favorite. Oh man, I love these books. Classic correspondence from Egyptian Hall Museum. I've done a review on those, so. Dear Mr. Fantasy by John Bannon. Talked about that one just a week or two ago. And then the Buena Vista Shuffle Club by my friend Matt Baker, whom I first met at Magi Fest. We'll be talking about that one. Magic for Dummies, a great book. Abbott's Encyclopedia of Rope Tricks. <laughs> Expert Card Technique, Practical Mental Effects, and the Card Magic of Le Paul. Card Magic of Edward G. Brown. It's a really cool bookcase uh, with that one from Andy Gladwin at Vanishing Inc. Then I have a hardcover version of Practical Mental Effects. Can't help it. The Magic Rainbow, if you've been watching, you've probably seen this one sitting on the shelf behind me for my reviews. Trippy, trippy book, at least as far as I've read. I have not gotten that far, to be honest. Woody Aragon, a book in English. Delightful book. Oh yeah. 
This was very kind. Hat and Hair Academy, you need to be following him if you're not already, sent me the Illustrated History of Magic by Otto Fiskar and uh, was very, very kind enough to send this to me. It actually arrived on my birthday, so kudos. Another one bites the dust. Magic page by page. I was fortunate enough to pick up one of these. It's still available in paperback from Pat, uh, Pat Page's family over in England, so I ordered one of those and got it, and so glad I did. Ah, yes, Williamson's Wonders. If you're watching my channel, you know I just reviewed that one. Check it out, check it out. Expert at the Card Table Graphic Novel Edition. Just received this one, so I will be looking into that and probably doing a review. The Great Illusions of Magic by Byron G. Wells. I'm not a big illusionist, but I felt it was important to have a well-rounded library, so there's a lesson in there. Gary Kurtz, Unexplainable Acts, The Death Camp Magicians. I picked this up at Magi Fest, and uh, I'll tell you what, Werner Reich gave a very touching discussion that day. Not so much secrets of magic, but maybe the real secrets of magic. The award-winning rope of Francis Tabaret. Very interesting book because I want you guys to see this. It's it's almost like a it's almost like a graphic novel in its style. Everything is mostly drawings, and there's a little bit of text to help you out. And it is all 100% rope magic, so that's pretty cool too that it's different. Miracles with Cards by James Swain. Martin's Miracles by Eric C. Lewis. The Handbook of Magic by Marvin Kaye, another one that I picked up at a book sale. When, books, when I see a magic book on sale, pretty hard for me to pass it up. My good friend, Rhett Bryson, published this book called The Devil's Prayer Book, which is about kind of storytelling with a deck of cards. Larry Becker's World of Super Mentalism. John Rakerbomber at the table. And Card Finesse. Time to bust out the Harry Lorraine. Best of Friends, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. I will probably put them on their own shelf. If I put them too close to the other books, they may absorb the other's tricks and call them their own. Oh man, if you're not familiar, if you're a mentalist and you do not know the works of Jack Kent Tiller, you owe it to yourself to become acquainted with them. I picked them up on sale. They're usually slightly pricey, but if you wait for a decent sale, they don't have to be. We're getting into some of the items from my five foot shelf and things that I've Studied Scripting Magic 1 and 2 by Peter McCabe. 